Everybody watching tonight has felt the pinch of higher energy costs. Some facing very tough choices now about what bills to pay. You're all in favor of fewer government regulations, but when it comes to energy specifically, does the state need to intervene to lower consumer costs? If not, how as governor would you try to lower prices for Granite Staters? Uh, Mr. Riley, to you first. That's great. The state has already intervened. The governor's office has actually with just getting behind poor policies. He wants wind turbines all over the state. He's been formed since 2019. They destroy our ecology. They're going to ruin the coastline. We have 13 miles of coastline we have to protect for the fisheries and lobstermen. You know, renewable energy is often a bad idea because it just doesn't produce. Nuclear is the way to go. Natural gas is the way to go. And the influx of those two in New Hampshire. But instead, we're making deals. We're watching Vermont and Massachusetts shut down nuclear power plants. They're on our grid. That causes us problems. We've got one in Seabrook. We've made no deals to get that type of nuclear power here in the state because it's owned by Florida and it goes out of state. We need to protect New Hampshire. We're not a dumping ground for the surrounding states. New Hampshire first is what we've got to be all about when it comes to energy, not giving people a $100 check. We need solutions. We need the right people involved, people who aren't going to bow to the woke mob, who tell them what is right and what is wrong, and they actually have the guts to stand up against this kind of stuff and do right for the people of New Hampshire. Mr. ACR? You know, that is right, and so is Karen. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll consider green energy to be something that we can do in the future when I actually see a holistic response and how to actually go about it. Wind turbines can't be disposed of properly, neither can the solar panels. Honestly, it's a really bad joke. With that said about the, what he said about the nuclear power plant over in Seabrook, that is completely accurate. We have a serious problem with having a major energy source right here in the state that we're not tapping into. This is like having a second income, but instead you're going to foreclose on your house because you don't actually use the income. This is, it's absolute stupidity. It's getting behind bad policies and it doesn't put New Hampshire first. But we also need to be taking it right to Washington because we have, a Biden, we have the Biden administration right now who is jacking up energy costs because they have overtly decided to attack nu nuclear, natural gas, and coal energy. We get a lot of our energy in New Hampshire from natural gas. We need to be getting more. We need to, it needs to be easier to mine and produce uh, coal-related energy here in the state. But you can thank the Biden administration because, to be honest, there's not a whole lot a governor can do when natural national policy is shutting down capital investment in energy. Mrs. Testerman, how as governor would you try to lower energy prices for Granite Staters? Well, actually, I've already taken action on this particular situation. Uh, I sit on a national uh, Secure the Grid uh, co uh, coalition talk every week. And one of the things I did was to bring in an expert who was talking about how do we use the unspent nuclear fuel that exists over at Seabrook currently that would actually fuel the state of New Hampshire as well as the New England area for the next 250 years. Uh, I was working, I invited the um, uh, Science and Technology uh, Committee over to my house so we could introduce this uh, idea. I tried to get D Governor Sununu to sit down and talk to us about it, but he wouldn't. He didn't have the time to do so. But uh, we actually got a bill passed this uh, last session that is supposed to put together a commission that will study how do we use uh, new reactors to use the unspent nuclear fuel that's over in uh, Seabrook. And that would put us on a, a really good situation where we might even have a flat rate for, uh, for electricity. Quickly, we heard Mr. Riley slam the $100 uh, energy credit that Governor Sununu has proposed. Mrs. Sesterman, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? It's a bad idea. Anytime you have subsid subsidies, it's just um, robbing Peter to pay Paul. And Mr. Aceyard? Well, it's an absolutely horrible idea. It's political grandstanding ahead of an election. It's exactly what politicians do all the time. And he's doing no different. That's just, I mean, right now he's over at a fair instead of being here asking for Republican for the Republican nominee in a debate.